Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Better Than Starting Manned. We are in the VAB today with a brand new ship design I call the Rocket Bomber, Bomber Mark I. It's a bit of a pain to fly but it's the last best hope for not having to fly any more of those stupid airplanes. <laughs> they are driving me seriously insane. I just cannot stand the stupid things. And so we are going to try this thing out as our new alternative to uh, there we are our new alternative to flying airplanes so the reason we are doing this not and not launching our uh, very highly anticipated Eve mission from the last episode. Well, when it comes right down to it, I cannot do an Eve mission yet because I am a little technologically, uh oh, bereft of probe cores that won't nose up. Come on, nose up. No, nose up. Gosh, you stupid thing. Come on. Holy crap, between the thrust vectoring and the wings, you should not be having this much trouble, you stupid intercontinental ballistic missile. Well, prototype, prototype. Anyways, um, the probe cores aren't rated for atmosphere that I have yet, so they're not rated for, they won't even survive Eve's atmosphere. Oops. Just got to get this done. Okay, we've got that one first. There we are. Um, so we need the next tech level before we can actually drop, or at least the next probe core, before we can drop something into Eve's atmosphere. And, you know, that's unfortunate, but... Okay, 2,000 meters to go. Okay. Let's see how we did. How did we do? One of them landed. Oh, they're going to overshoot way too much. Yeah, we overshot by a lot. Not even remotely close enough. In fact, I'm not even sure that one exploded, which is interesting. Revert flight, vehicle assembly, or not vehicle assembly, but for launch. I suppose I could carry four of these. You know, with this design actually being pretty responsive. <sighs> nah, two should be enough. Two should be enough for us to do the full job. I just need to actually, you know, fly a little, get it, come in a little lower. And, uh, full throttle the engines. Set navigation and start. Come on. Come on, okay. Seriously, there we go. There we go. Okay, I haven't got these two separated. I do want to drop the bombs at two different times. We want to minimize our up. But not so much that we're, you know, sacrificing our ability to get there. So I think I can do better on this design already. Uh, let's see, now which one is the first one? That one. Whoop. It is a real bit of a bloody pain to fly this thing, you know? Because, I don't know. There we go. Oh, crud. That is not nice. Oh my. Whoops. Come on. No, up, 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 up. No, we're not going to make it, are we? Come on, rocket. You can go up, up. Oh boy. We do not have nearly enough fuel left for the job right now. So yeah, so I flipped my uh, 
orientation upside down, which is not good. Oh my god. Um, let's see. Well, we're going to make it. Alright, there goes the first, and there goes the second. Let's see how we do here. Any better? Probably not. Oh, maybe? Maybe? I don't know, I can't tell how close we are to the uh, target right now. I guess we'll see in just a minute. It's not looking good, though. Oh yeah, not even remotely good. Oh, that was good. Okay. Contract failed. No, wait, it wasn't good. Come on. All right. We're, we're going to get this. We're going to get this. Revert. Vehicle assembly. Okay. Hey there, everyone. Sorry about the interruption. My daughter is having a rough evening. Anyways, hopefully we are done with that for now. I want to do this. Now I have to rotate. Let's see, can I do a chase cam here? Will that make it any easier to follow this? Not likely. Oh my god, that is just disconcerting beyond belief. There we go. Alright, that's easier to fly that way. What I've done is I've put it in chase cam and reoriented it to, uh, hopefully, be a little easier to fly here. I still have forgotten to readjust my staging a little. There we go. As long as we are holding nice and steady, we'll go in nice and low here. I think we'll let ourselves fall towards the target, which is now 10 kilometers away and falling. We don't want to be very high for this because we want to be close by. Now which one is first? It's the one on the bottom. Okay. Come on, keep the nose up. I know it's a little bit of a rough ride here. All right, we are almost there. Nice, very nice. Okay. I overshot again, didn't I? Yeah, it looks like it. Way overshot. How close am I supposed to get this? Holy crap. I better double check this contract. How close am I supposed to get this damn thing? That's less than... Okay, well, I guess a, a kilometer is a little far for the purposes of 100 meters. Okay, well maybe we'll just crash ourselves right or head right for it. All right. Shoot, I can't tell what I'm doing. There we go. We're at a flying angle here. We're going to quick save about halfway there this time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's what's going on. It's the stupid stability control systems. Here we are. 
We'll go a little bit more like a cruise missile here. Come on. We stabilize a little bit higher. I do not like how we are falling. We are falling a little more than I really want right now. Come on, keep that nose up. Okay, which one's the first one on the list? That one. Of course it is. Let's reorder our stages. Okay, 300 meters and counting. We're going to coming in at less than 500 meters. Uh oh, oh boy, come on! No, we're not going. We're not even going to come close. Boy, this thing sure drops like a rock when it's. Uh... <sighs> Stability control. That has absolutely no gliding capacity, does it? Full throttle, SAS, navigation on. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see what we can do about actually getting there this time. Okay, now that we have ourselves in stable flight in the right direction, let's do it that way. Come on. We probably need to do more of a missile type, type uh, arc to this. Come on, SAS. Keep us pointing upwards ish. Yeah, that's the one on the bottom this time. Good. All right, we are definitely losing airspeed, but that might buy us a bit more time before we completely run out of fuel. So you don't need to go too fast. In fact, that might actually make it just a little harder. All right, and we're gonna come in really super low. All right, 4,000 meters and falling. All right, we're less than 100 meters away from it. All right, here we go. Dive, dive, dive! Crap, still too far. Close though, my word. Much closer. Quick saves this time though. We are learning to fly. There we go. So that's definitely going to be the way to do it. Bring it in nice and steep. There we are. Whoa. Come on. There we are. Come on. Keep that nose up. All right, just got to keep some stable airspeed here, but, oh, we're falling. Come on, activate navigation. We're close now, we're really close. We've almost got it right. Another quick save, 5,000 meters. We're only 600 meters off the ground this time. She is not going to give us a lot of buffer on actually falling towards it here. So for 700 meters up...
Oh, man. We still overshot, didn't we? <sighs> Quick save. And load. We were just a little too soon. And our staging also deployed strangely. Activate navigation. Good. I don't know why it did that. That was really weird. But that one definitely crashed too soon. So 600 meters up means to hit it, we're going to need to go... We are short just a little. Come on, quick save. We can do this. I'm sure we can do this. Okay. Come on up. One new stage. You in there. Come on. 400 meters to go. We're 400 meters up. Okay. Come on, bombs. 200. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Dang it. And that parachute's not adequate either to save the engine. That's even worse. <sighs> Come on. We were actually closer this time. I'm tempted just to drop the full thing right into the middle of the target. I really am. I think I could drop it pretty precisely. I mean, I could also just use the... Uh, parachutes to stop it a little bit faster. Whoops! Holy crap! No, I way overshot. Look at that go. I am right on top of it. Okay, I think I'm getting this. We're learning. This is a learning process. Precision flight. I think I know what I'm going to do now. I think I know what I can do. New approach. All right, but it's going to travel really far at 200 meters per sec at this speed. So we're going to trigger one before. This will be our attempt to hit it as a moving target. So we'll drop you now. And then we will draw you right there. Whoa, too far. Too soon. And that one's going to be too far away as well. I was close. How far away are we this time? 100 meters is a small radius, you know. It's an absurdly small radius, really. Interesting. Okay. Same plan as before. One of them is going to be stopped by the parachute. Activate navigation. Come on. So, dropped it at a thousand. Oh, at twelve hundred. So we're going to need to drop it even sooner than twelve hundred. So like now. And it's going to stop almost dead right on top of the target when I hit this. Okay. 214 meters, which means hopefully we're a little closer. Though I have a feeling we're not. Oh, 
Come on, explode? You didn't even explode? What the heck? Seriously, not high enough to explode. Good to know. Okay, so a little sooner, so probably around 1400. Come on, nose up. Staging adjustment. There we go. Keep that nose up. Keep us right on that target. There we are. So we will fire it off at about 1400. You go a little higher. Come on. And then you will parachute right here. Come on, bomb. 233. We're still not close enough. And that's not high enough. Dang it. All right, I think the next thing to do will be just to fly the rocket straight into the target. And just call it done. Obviously, this thing is not going to... Of course, it doesn't help that it didn't stage properly. So we're going to hit the first one right there. Okay. So we're going hit, to start hitting the space bar around here. And then here. Come on, something. Not close enough. Come on, you can do it. 197, oh my god. Not there. And 648. I'm not even 100% sure if I can actually get this thing on target. But 1500 looks like it was about right. So we'll start, we'll activate the first one around 1500, and the second one... We also need to be pointed pretty much directly at it. Come on, yes! Oh, that actually worked okay with aiming it straight at the target and then firing the parachute at the last minute, um, that might work. Now, I don't know that we're going to be able to save this uh, engine, but that's okay. All right, well, oh, we got it. Awesome. Well, that's good. Cover the vessel. We got most of our money back from the flight. Nice. Okay, um... It's going to be a short one. I think, let's see if a new contract came up first. It's a goal, the overall goal of this. Nice. 4,400 back from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Of course, the military missions are only going to get us, um, oh, now multiple targets. So that's going to get really hard. So that only gave us a new military mission. So I think the military missions might be linked. So the only other thing we can do would be See, is there anything here that's got a really low failure cost? All right, let's just take this one and this one. We're not going to do them. We're going to say cancel contract and cancel contract. Anything new. Large payload. Explore Gilly. That is the moon of Eve. Okay, that's good. And that is, now we're at um, expensive ones. Oh, no, here we are. Well, let's take that, because that's another... That gives us both of the EVE contracts now. Good. Stack separator in flight. Take it, and then cancel. Come on. I mean, okay, stack separator in flight over Kerbin. That's actually a pretty... Yeah, screw it. No. Okay. So next up we'll be um, doing some serious payload launches to clear out the uh, contract list. 
and probably some parts, some payloads and part tests. But that'll be something for the next episode. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this little flight interlude. Next episode, we're going to actually do some of those contracts. <sighs> I should have taken a probe cortex, shouldn't I? Where is it? Is this... So the information... Okay, pressure... 2.25 atmospheres, is that... 2.25, no, it's... I don't have a pressure... Well, I could do everything except for landing on... Eve at this point. And maybe that's... I'm just going to have to live with the fact that the landing, the actual... Because I don't have... Where is that? That's on the next tier, isn't it? That uh, nose cone. Wait, hold on. I saw it there. Do I have it? No, I don't have it. Where is it? Oh! High altitude flight has the bloody nose... Oh. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if there's any way we could get our, our hands on that before heading out. Hmm, food for thought right there. Not sure. Well, I guess we could do a moon mission or something. I mean, we're just going to have to break down. I have to admit, we're going to have to do more than one trip to Eve anyways, so mark. Hey, guys. Um. Well, I reloaded... I, sh I guess I should have reloaded this because we now have all four of the contracts. We now have the Ike and Duna contract, and we have the Eve and Gilly contract. So we can do some pretty serious science, and we don't have to fly the. We don't have to fly these right now. We should have more than enough million with half a million. We should have more than enough to accomplish these missions. So our next mission design is going to be a rework of the EVE rocket as our DUNA rocket. So we're going to design something that's going to get us to DUNA and Ike in the same mission. So we'll do a, we'll have a look at that next episode because I've spent already way too much time on that military flight. But it did the job. That and just cancelling those cheap-ass little contracts. Anyways, hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And see you next time.